Hi, this is Zach Mayer with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Tuesday, the 13th of April. And uh, slightly flat uh, in terms of the small caps, uh, maybe the action not on the AIM market today. Uh, Gfinity, the first stock here, a requested stock, breaking that line of resistance there from February and also breaking the 50 day moving average at four and a half pence. While we're above that on an end of day close basis, looking towards the top of a rising trend channel from back in June last year currently promising us a target as high as seven pence perhaps as soon as the end of next month another requested stock uh, coming in the form of greatland gold which has been uh, disappointing over the last uh, few months i suppose it's just tracked the uh, fall in the gold price we had a rather nasty bull trap there towards 25 pence uh, last month but uh, looking a bit more encouraging this month uh, hopefully breaking this falling wedge that we've got and also the 200 day moving average there at uh, let's call it 22 pence and end of day close above 22 should on this occasion get the shares uh, to go up and stay up uh, best case scenario target here over the next two to three months as high as 50 pence which seems rather unbelievable but perhaps uh, one would go for around 30 pence by the end of next month given the shares recent uh, relatively quiet price action uh, the other plus at the moment is the way that we've got uh, bullish divergence in the rsi window so we've got the lower lows for uh, the end of March, uh, but the uh, higher or at least flat RSI trace over recent weeks. So that does suggest there is some momentum building on the upside for Greatland Gold. Uh, proper pre 20th century name coming up next, uh, Hornby. Uh, here we've got a situation where the shares have uh, delivered uh, two gaps to the upside, uh, uh, unfilled at uh, this stage so far this month, which is pretty impressive one through the 200 day moving average of 46 pence the view of this stage is that while we're above the 50 day line currently at 48 pence we're looking for further upside could be as high as up to 80 pence at the top of the broadening triangle from the beginning of november although i have to say that at the moment that seems to be rather ambitious but uh, nevertheless with two gaps to the upside does suggest that there is uh, some momentum there and people have been caught out by the strength of the stock uh, another stock which uh, might have caught people out uh, is coming up next. Uh, here we can see there's been a, a sharp move to the upside uh, for Intelligent ultra Ultrasound. Uh, here we've also got uh, two gaps up uh, so far this month, which is a good coincidence. Uh, looks as though I mean, we're guessing, I suppose, where uh, the shares may reach over the near term, but possibility of 30 pence and the resistance line there from December uh, last year, and that could be hit as soon as the end of next month or I have to say that uh, the way things are looking at the moment can actually hit 30 pence by the end of this month or even this week uh, so looking pretty strong there for intelligent ultrasound at the moment only back below the old february peak 16 pence really uh, killing the idea of a spike towards 30 pence moving along to a stock which i covered uh, rather grudgingly i think a few days ago maybe last week uh, live company but uh, this time for a change in the recent past uh, the shares have managed to not only hold on to their gains but uh, actually uh, build on them we had the slight pullback yesterday but an end of day close today above uh, the february peak at six pence should be enough to take the shares up towards uh, a retest of the main resistance area around 10 or 11 pence over the next uh, couple of weeks and uh, maybe by the end of next month we could be up at 14 or 15 pence at the top of that broadening triangle uh, guessing from the business model uh, that the end of the pandemic uh, could be good for live company but uh, do your own research on that uh, onto a stock which is uh, gets uh, periodic uh, mentions here and uh, inclusions here uh, and uh, here it is again today uh, pedro matad uh, here we've got uh, the situation where um, if the chart refreshes we'll see that um, the shares have managed to um, break to the upside. Uh, we've got um, a 200-day moving average support area around uh, 2.87. And while we're above that, looking for at least a retest of February resistance. To be cautious on the shares, maybe wait for another end-of-day close above the 50-day moving average at 3.08 pence before targeting 3.5. Big picture target here up to um, the... Uh, top of a rising trend channel as high as four and a half pence and obviously the top of the range and that could be seen maybe by the end of june on to another relatively obscure stock uh, which i don't think i've covered here for quite a while if at all uh, brighton pier here you can see the shares are basically breaking the uh, downtrend line that we've had or the downtrend we've had 
since uh, what's that the end of 2018 and uh, also we've got a situation where uh, above 50 pence in that broken uh, multi-year resistance line we've got a potential target here at a line of resistance again from the end of 2018 up towards 85 pence uh, so above 50 looking for 85 pence perhaps as soon as the end of next month and moving along to another stock which is uh, uh, very much uh, in focus at the moment uh, the sort of mystery as to whether turn can uh, deliver a sustained move to the upside uh, has its uh, fans a bit of a marmite stock uh, situation is at the moment is that we really need to clear this 12 pence area it's become a bit of a block on uh, the price action and uh, really a weekly close above 12 pence now the minimum requirement for regarding uh, the stock as being a proper technical buy again uh, above t uh, 12 pence though there's a possibility though the shares will return to the 20 pence area perhaps as soon as the end of the next month but moving along to a um, stock which has its another one which has a decent uh, fan base uh, tuple here the situation seems to be building quite well sort of slow burn recovery here we've got a broadening triangle top of the triangle heading towards uh, 0.17 which would effectively retest the october resistance if you're cautious on the shares maybe wait for an end of day close above the 200 day line at 0 0.08 pence but uh, at least while we're above 0 0.06 uh, it looks as though for now we're in recovery mode and we should hopefully hit that uh, 0.17 target as soon as the end of next month interesting to uh, cover the tiziana today there was uh, probably a decent price action or better price action yesterday after the uh, zach's research report today even though uh, the company's just announced that uh, it's going to float uh, accustem on the nasdaq the, the situation on the chart though is though that we have uh, extended support for the stock towards the low 90 pence area and while we're above that looking towards the 200 day moving average as high as one pound 30 by the end of next month one stock which is uh, only gets an occasional look in over here on the bulletin board heroes is verici here you can see that um, the shares have broken the recent downtrend uh, that was in place uh, since the beginning of february so above the 20-day moving average there and uh, the uh, resistance line from february we're looking for reasonable upside here possibly up towards the one pound 20 area over the next two to three months maybe by the end of june and a end of day and a weekly close above the 50-day line at 71 pence would be the first sign that the shares are on their way to a decent upside finishing off with the stock which where we are hoping that the churn of the recent past is finally out of the way a westminster group this feels like a ages that the shares have been stuck around the four to five pence level looking a bit more encouraging now and uh, i suppose what we're looking for now is a an end of day close through the uh, initial april resistance 4.64 pence if we can get that uh, maybe on a weekly close basis uh, this week then the shares could be up towards um, the six pence area by the end of next month which is also the 200 day moving average region as well as being a resistance line projection from the beginning of december this stage only really back below four pence questioning the upside scenario and if you want to be fussy uh, only back below the 50-day moving average at 4.18. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.